Stark month is just around the corner, and to get us ready for some theories, I wanted to talk about Bloodraven and his history. Bloodraven would be born Brendan Rivers in 175 AC to Aegon IV Targaryen, or Aegon the Unworthy, and Lady Melissa Blackwood, Aegon's sixth and best-loved mistress. Brendan would be born an albino with white hair, red eyes, and milk-white skin. He would also have a distinctive red, wine-stained birthmark on his neck, chin, and cheek that some claim looked like a raven, and earned him the nickname Blood Raven. Though Sir Duncan the Tall claims it was more of a splotch, and George R. R. Martin stated it was more of an inkblot interpretation deal than in the actual shape of a raven. Brendan's parentage is unique. He is a child born from a father that has strong Valerian blood, and a mother that has strong First Men blood. The Valerians had a history of sorcery and visions, and by all current evidence, it appears having the blood of the First Men is required for green sight and to be a skin changer. Having a mix of this blood might explain what he becomes late in his life. Brendan's mother was known for her kind heart, and even the king's wife, Queen Nerys, befriended her. Lady Melissa and Aegon IV would also have two other children besides Brendan. She would remain as Aegon IV's mistress for five years before being placed aside for a new woman. Because of Melissa's kindness and popularity, she and Brendan were able to maintain relations at court even after she was dismissed as Aegon's mistress. This was very different than Aegon IV's fifth mistress, Barbara Bracken, who was exiled from court after trying to become Aegon IV's wife while his actual wife was thought to be dying from childbirth and then didn't. She would have one son with Aegon IV named Aegor Rivers, later to be known as Bittersteel. As you can imagine, with Lady Melissa being Aegon IV's sixth mistress, Brendan also had a lot of half-siblings from Aegon's affairs and some from his marriage. The most notable are Aegon IV's legitimate children, Darren II and Daenerys, and his bastards, Shira Seastar, already mentioned Bittersteel, and probably most important, Daemon Blackfire. By all accounts, in his youth, Brendan had good relationships with his half-siblings, except for Bittersteel. The boys had an intense rivalry, with Bittersteel being bitter with how his mother was exiled from court, and then seeing Brendan and his mother, who was very loved, maintain their close relations at court. When both the boys, showing that Targaryen tendency towards incest, fell in love with their younger half-sister Shira, this rivalry turned to hatred, which would become important later in Brendan's life. Brendan would be legitimized at the age of nine when his father, on his deathbed, legitimized his bastards. Brendan would become known as one of the great bastards. But Aegon's deathbed decree would create a conflict that the realm would deal with for generations. Conflict Brendan would be involved in for many years. And though Aegon IV did legitimize him, he would still hold the stigma of being born out of wedlock. In the Seven Kingdoms, it is believed that a child born outside of marriage can never have its nature changed, even through the king's word. They are born treacherous and born to betray. Because of this, some would counsel future Targaryen kings to never trust Brendan, or any bastard, no matter his or her status. Though Brendan would be called Lord Bloodraven, he wouldn't ever be a real lord, and the title would be used as a courtesy. As an adult, Bloodraven would use a single white dragon with red eyes and breathing a red flame on a black field as his personal arms. As he grew to manhood, he would be described as a gaunt man with pallid skin and bone white hair that made him look like a living corpse. He would often dress in dark colors, smoke and scarlet, with the sword Dark Sister at his hip. Exactly when he got Dark Sister is not known. Though he could and would wield Dark Sister, Blood Raven preferred his weirwood bow, and he was an expert bowman. He would create the Raven's Teeth, a company of long bowmen, their name earned from Blood Raven's nickname. Blood Raven would also begin to dabble in magic and sorcery at a young age. When Aegon the Fourth son, Darren the Second, came to the throne, Blood Raven would eventually be part of his half brother's small council. Likely after a few years into his reign, as Blood Raven was only nine when Darren the Second came to the throne. Once on the council, he would fight with Darren the Second's son, Balar Breakspear, on how to deal with rebels. With Breakspear believing that showing mercy was better, otherwise a man would fight to the death. And Blood Raven stating pardoning rebels only planted the seed for the next rebellion. Blood Raven was likely less than twenty years old when Bittersteel, true to his nickname, began to tell his half brother Damon Blackfire that Damon himself should be king, 
not Darren II. Aegon IV, besides legitimizing his bastards, had given Daemon Blackfire the original sword of Aegon I, Blackfire, when he was only 12 years old. As Targaryen kings had wielded it since the Conqueror, Bittersteel and others would whisper it was because Daemon was Aegon IV's legitimate heir, and had meant for him to rule. This wasn't helped by the rumors that Aegon IV's wife, Nerys, had an affair with their brother, Aemon the Dragon Knight, and that Darren II was a bastard from that affair. Bittersteel, along with the whispers of other knights and lords with grievances, would poison the mind of Daemon Blackfire, and finally, he would rise up in rebellion to take the Iron Throne. But he acted too rashly, and word got out to Darren II of Daemon's intent. Some believe it was Blood Raven who was responsible for this information. Darren II would send the King's Guard to arrest Daemon, but he would escape beforehand. The Blackfire allies used this, claiming Darren II had acted out on baseless fears, and others began to name Darren II, Darren Falseborn, and that Daemon was meant to be the king. Darren's dealings with Dorne and bringing them into the Seven Kingdoms didn't help either. All of this escalated until the Blackfire Rebellion began in 196 AC, with Daemon Blackfire declaring he was the eldest true son of King Aegon IV, and Darren II was the bastard. Daemon would reverse the traditional colors of the Targaryens to show a black dragon on a red field. He would be the first of many who would be called the Blackfire Pretenders. In this rebellion, Blood Raven would stay loyal to the Targaryens and fight against Daemon Blackfire. Many battles would be fought between the Blackfire, or Black, side and the Reds, or the Targaryen side. Blood Raven and his private guard, the Raven's Teeth, would be instrumental in the last battle of the rebellion at the Redgrass Field. During the battle, Blood Raven and his archers would stand atop the Weeping Ridge and spot his half brother's royal standard 300 yards away, with Daemon Blackfire and his twin sons beneath it. Blood Raven knew Daemon would never leave either child while they were still alive, so first he killed Daemon's elder son, Aegon. The white shafts continued to fly down on them, and as predicted, Daemon went to his son, but was pierced with seven arrows, claimed to hit him as much by sorcery as by Blood Raven's bow. Daemon died and the younger twin Aemon grabbed Blackfire from his dying father's hand, but Blood Raven killed him as well. This, despite being war, would result in Blood Raven being called the Kinslayer and negatively affect how people perceived him from then on. Bittersteel, grabbing Blackfire, led a mad charge with the Blackfire rebels, not letting Daemon Blackfire's death deter him. He met Blood Raven in the midst of the charge and a duel between the two men began. The duel would end in Blood Raven being blinded in one eye and Bittersteel fleeing to Tyrosh with the sword Blackfire and Daemon's surviving sons. The battle would end when Prince Baelar Breakspear and Prince Makar crushed what was left of the Blackfire hosts. The first Blackfire Rebellion would come to a close. Blood Raven would continue to serve Darren II until the Great Spring Sickness hit King's Landing in 209 AC. The corpses began to pile 10 feet high, and it was Blood Raven who would order pyromancers to burn the corpses where they lay. There was nothing else to be done, and a quarter of the city went up in flames. Darren II, along with other Targaryens, would die from this sickness. In part 2, we'll continue on with Blood Raven's life, including more Blackfire rebellions and his role in the Seven Kingdoms. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, it helps the video out a bunch. Stark Month begins in March and will probably bleed into April. Probably mentioning bleeding in Starks probably wasn't a good idea. Wednesday will be a Patreon supported SS video.